Now that we've gone through the basics of keyword research and the types of videos that work, it is time to walk you through on the types of equipment and methods to create your own simple video for marketing. Though many people are still intimidated with the idea of making videos, the truth is, it is not that complicated at all. In fact, many people who are not computer savvy are able to successfully make their own videos and upload on video directories such as YouTube. With today's technology, the video production process has become easier with lots of user-friendly editing software and equipment out there. The first step to making an online video is to have a video recording device. Some popular recording devices are digital camcorder, web cameras, mobile phones, which have a video capture feature, and screen capture software. Let's talk about each and every one of these devices so that you'll be able to select which one is best suited for your needs. For digital camcorder, it is not necessary to invest in one of those that cost an exorbitant amount of money. A compact and affordable one will do. As a matter of fact, most digital cameras produce high quality videos and they normally come with a video capture option that allows e easy editing and upload to YouTube. So before you invest in one of these, be sure to check on the box if they are equipped with these features. Web cameras are also a good option to record videos, especially if the type of video you wish to record does not require much mobility. Mobile phones do not offer great video quality. It's not the best video recording equipment option but in case you happen to come across something exciting throughout your everyday life, then a mobile phone camera would come in handy. Lastly, for screen capture software, they can be used to record your actions on the computer screen along with a narration. The best screen capture software available in the market today is Camtasia Studio. Screen capture software can be an excellent way to create instructional videos or demonstrate software, marketing techniques, and any other digital products. Once you've decided the type of video you would like to create and made up your mind on the most suited video recording device, you can start making your own videos. When creating your video, make sure you speak directly to the camera so that the voiceover is clear and the lighting good at your place of recording. This way, the video quality is maintained. Nothing is worse than watching a video that is hard to see or difficult to hear. Also, try to keep your video concise and short so that it is less than 10 minutes. This is because most video directories only allow a video length of up to 10 minutes. However, as we've discussed in the previous module, the best duration of a video should be 1 to 5 minutes so that it sustains the attention span of the viewer. You can make videos on any niches you want, but remember to follow the characteristics of the types of videos that work, which we have discussed in the previous video. After you've captured your video, you will need a video editing software. Video editing software helps you to take the raw video and refine it into a more useful marketing device. For example, you can improve the audio of your video, shorten the video, or piece together different video clips sound clips, images, and even do voiceover narrations. While there are many video editing softwares available today, the one I would recommend is, once again, Camtasia Studio. However, you may also use Microsoft Movie Maker for Windows or iMovie for Mac. Most new computer comes with these basic editing software and they are relatively easy to use with drag and drop options. To use these programs to edit your video, you'll have to transfer your video from your capture device to your desktop. You can do this with a USB or Firewire. Normally software should come with a video capture device to make this transfer. After that, import your raw video into your video editing software. These editing software also allow you to add effects like titles, callouts, transitions, soundtracks, etc. 
The most important thing, the most important part when editing your video is to remember to brand your video. To do that, you want to consider adding your website URL in the video. Here's an example on how to brand your video. As you can see from this video, the website URL is embedded at the bottom of the video. As for your video file format, it's best to export your videos as .mov. When saving your videos, it is also best to name your videos as the keyword you are trying to rank for. This will help with search engine optimization. Once your video has been exported to .mov and saved as your keyword, it is now ready for it to be uploaded to YouTube. In the next video, we will go through more thoroughly on how to search engine optimize your video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.